Have you ever wondered what would happen if a zombie apocalypse broke out? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? This morbid fascination, a cultural phenomenon, has infiltrated our books, movies, games, even our nightmares. The idea of the undead rising to consume the living is both terrifying and enthralling. It's a catastrophic event that would shake the very foundation of our society, transforming our world into a living nightmare. Imagine a world where the dead walk among us. Terrifying, isn't it? So what could possibly cause a zombie apocalypse? The answers are as varied as they are chilling. Let's delve into the realm of possibility, shall we? First off, we have viruses. Viruses are microscopic parasites that are experts at invading cells and hijacking their machinery to reproduce. Think of the world's worst sci-fi movie, but on a cellular level. Now imagine a virus with the potential to alter our brain function, to control our actions, to turn us, essentially, into the walking dead. A terrifying thought, isn't it? But it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. After all, we've seen viruses do some pretty incredible things. The rabies virus, for instance, can change a docile animal into a raging, biting creature. Next up, we have genetic experiments. Genetic engineering is a rapidly advancing field. We've seen scientists splice genes, clone organisms, and even bring back extinct species. But what if something goes wrong? What if, in our quest for knowledge, we accidentally create something monstrous, a genetic mutation that spreads like wildfire, turning its victims into mindless, flesh-hungry zombies? And finally, we come to the extraterrestrial. Yes, you heard right. We can't rule out the possibility of an alien pathogen. The universe is vast, filled with countless planets, stars, and galaxies. Who's to say there isn't a virus out there on some distant planet that could turn us into zombies? It's a wild thought, but not entirely implausible. Each of these sources, though frightening, is grounded in scientific theory. To be clear, we're not saying a zombie apocalypse is imminent. But the science behind these potential sources is real, and that's what makes them truly terrifying. Though it seems far-fetched, the sources of a zombie apocalypse may not be as fictional as they appear. Now, if such an apocalypse were to occur, what would be your chances of survival? This is where the rubber meets the road, where the theoretical becomes practical, and where your nightmares might just become your reality. The chances of survival in a zombie apocalypse are influenced by a handful of critical factors. These include your location, your skills, the resources at your disposal, and of course, a dash of good old-fashioned luck. Location is, quite literally, a matter of life and death. Urban areas with their high population density are likely to see the quickest and most severe outbreaks. In contrast, rural areas, particularly those with a low population density, could offer a temporary haven. However, even the most remote corners of the world would not remain untouched forever. Next, let's talk about skills. In a world overrun by the undead, being able to perform a perfect triple bypass surgery might be less useful than knowing how to start a fire without matches. A doctor with their extensive medical knowledge would certainly be an asset in treating injuries and illnesses, but would they know how to forage for food or purify water? Then we have the teenager, perhaps lacking in practical skills but likely brimming with energy and adaptability. Their chances of survival would depend heavily on their ability to learn quickly and their willingness to do whatever it takes to stay alive. And what about the soldier? Trained in combat and survival, they would seem to have an advantage. Yet even the most decorated veteran is not immune to the psychological toll of living in constant fear and danger. Resources too play a crucial role. Having access to food, water, shelter, and weapons can dramatically increase your chances of survival. But remember, in a post-apocalyptic world, these resources will become scarce, and competition for them will be fierce. And finally, luck. In a zombie apocalypse, luck might just be the most unpredictable and uncontrollable factor. Sometimes, survival comes down to being in the right place at the right time, uh, or the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, surviving a zombie apocalypse is not just about being the strongest or the smartest, it's about being the most adaptable. A zombie apocalypse would certainly change our everyday lives, but how exactly? Imagine a world where your morning coffee is replaced by a desperate scramble for food, where a hot shower is a luxury you can't afford, and a safe place to sleep is a dream you chase relentlessly. That's the world we'd be living in. A world where basic necessities become luxuries. Food, water, shelter, the trifecta of survival. In the face of a zombie apocalypse, these three elements would be harder to come by than ever before. The supermarkets would be emptied, 
the water supply contaminated, and our homes, once our sanctuaries, would become the hunting grounds for the undead. Every meal would be a victory, every drop of clean water a blessing, and every night spent under a solid roof a cause for celebration. But the impact wouldn't stop at mere survival. We'd see a collapse of societal structures as we know them. Governments would crumble under the weight of the crisis. Law enforcement would be overwhelmed, and in the absence of a functioning economy, money would lose its value. The world as we know it would cease to exist, replaced by a new order dictated by the law of the jungle, survival of the fittest. In the midst of this chaos, survivalist groups would rise. Comprised of individuals with various skills, these groups would be our best shot at enduring the apocalypse. Doctors, soldiers, even teenagers with a knack for survival would band together, pooling their resources and skills to fight off the undead and carve out a semblance of normalcy in this new world order. This would be a world where trust is as precious as food and water, where courage is the currency and survival the only wealth. A world where every day is a battle, every decision a matter of life and death. In such a world, survival becomes the only goal and everything else secondary. But what if there was a twist in our zombie apocalypse scenario? Imagine, if you will, a world where the undead aren't just mindless eating machines. What if they retained their memories, their emotions, their very essence of being human? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Suddenly, the faceless horde takes on a whole new meaning. Each zombie becomes an individual, a tragic figure trapped in a horrific existence. This changes everything. Our strategies of survival would need to adapt. No longer would it be a simple matter of staying alive. We'd have to grapple with the ethical implications of our actions. Could we truly justify killing these creatures if they still possess some shred of humanity? And what about the emotional toll? Imagine recognizing a loved one among the undead, their eyes filled with a haunting mix of hunger and sorrow. The psychological impact could be far more devastating than the physical threat the zombies pose. This twist humanizes the zombies and in a way makes them even more terrifying. It blurs the line between us and them, forcing us to confront the darkest aspects of our own humanity. What if the real horror in a zombie apocalypse is not the walking dead but the choices the living have to make? The choices that force us to question our morality, our empathy and ultimately our will to survive. This my friends is the true nightmare of a zombie apocalypse. Let's take this unexpected twist a step further. What if the zombies retained not just their memories, but their rights as well? Imagine, if you will, a world where the undead aren't just mindless eating machines, but a part of our society. Could we see zombies continuing to work and contribute to society? Picture a zombie mailman delivering your mail, a zombie lawyer arguing a case in court, or a zombie scientist working tirelessly in a lab. It sounds absurd and terrifying. But in a world where zombies retain their memories, could they retain their skills and knowledge as well? And what about education? Imagine classrooms where living and undead students learn side by side. Would zombies have the capacity to learn and grow? Or would they be stuck in a perpetual state of decay, their minds as rotten as their flesh? Could we accept zombies living among us in our homes? Think about your neighbors, your friends, even your family members. If they turned into zombies but retained their humanity, could you accept them? Could you live alongside them? In a world where zombies have rights, the lines between the living and the undead blur, challenging our perceptions of life, death, and humanity. This is a world where the undead are not the enemy, but a tragic part of our existence. A world where the real horror is not the walking dead, but the choices we have to make. Choices that force us to question our morality, our empathy, and ultimately our will to survive. This, my friends, is the true nightmare of a zombie apocalypse. Thank you for venturing with me on this thought-provoking exploration of a zombie apocalypse, where the lines between life and death aren't as clear as we'd like them to be. It's a grim picture indeed, but one that forces us to confront our own fears and prejudices. Would we be able to accept our undead neighbors? Or would we let our fear and revulsion cloud our judgment? It's a question of not just survival, but also of empathy and understanding. In a world where the undead could potentially retain their humanity, could we retain ours? This is the true test of a zombie apocalypse. Not the fight against the undead, but the fight within ourselves.
Remember, in a world where zombies have rights, the real monsters could very well be the living. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this thought experiment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay human.